Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey. It is 9.14 Saturday morning. It is a beautiful day in Zamunda. I don't know what I'm gonna do today. Uh, she's at work. I have decided that I needed today as a reset. I have been very unmotivated, especially when it comes to day job stuff. More importantly, my health, my physical health, which is affecting my mental health. I haven't been very diligent and sticking with the high fiber stuff the past couple of weeks. I sort of slacked going to the grocery store, like they just didn't have the stuff that I want to eat. So I wasn't getting a lot of vegetables, I wasn't getting too much fruit, and I'm paying the price for it in that I can feel myself getting more sluggish, you know, my, my whole tract issue coming back and all that stuff. Now I haven't spent the night laying on the bathroom floor moaning, but I don't want to get to that point. So today I decided that it's going to be a liquid day. I also realized that I ran out of protein powder a couple of weeks ago, and I just keep forgetting to go to Whole Foods and get it. So this morning now, what we're gonna do after I'm done filming here, is we're gonna go to Whole Foods, I'm gonna get my super greens, and I'm gonna get my protein powder, and then we're gonna come home, and I'm going to make a protein shake for breakfast, and have a cup of coffee, and then we'll see what happens. I don't really have any battle plans for today, anything specific, but it's nice out, so, I, I kind of want to be out and about, even though it's chilly. I'd rather have that that brisk, cool, fresh air rather than bleh, overcast and meh. So yeah, a lot of typical dumb monkey shit. We're gonna be piecemealing things together and just making a day of it. So let's get started. True sign of winter in Virginia Beach when our little bush here blooms. Usually it does it when it snows. Thank goodness it's not doing that. Okay, mission accomplished. This time, instead of getting protein, I got meal replacement. And I got the super green stuff, and then I got cherry pie for dessert tonight for Sven Gulli. Now, why did I have to get cherry pie? Although I didn't post a video yesterday so that you could see that I got cookies, Valentine's cookies from Three Ships. So I got enough cookies for last night and tonight. Dumb monkey thought that I could trust Curious Kitty by leaving them on the coffee table. Oh, well, I'm about two-ish or so. I was awakened by a sound. Didn't know what it was, but it always freaks me out. So I went to the app. I started checking all the cameras around the house inside and out. And I saw the cat, because this is what I always gauge everything by. If the cat is laying on the couch asleep, then it's probably nothing. Cause there's no way that little bastard isn't gonna go up and try to, to you know, like figure out what the hell's going on if somebody were to actually break in. He's on the couch, but he's on that couch oddly. He's sort of sitting on the edge of the cushion facing in, but he's not laying there. And I thought, okay, well, he must've just gotten up and eaten or taken a dump or something. And maybe he's just not settled in. And I looked at him for a little bit and he just sat there and I could see his tail moving and everything. I'm like, okay, I check all the other cameras. There's nothing else odd. Okay, I shut him off. Eventually I go back to sleep. Turns out the little bastard got onto the coffee table and tried to get his head inside the bag. And it's one of those bags that has the, like the, the, like the stringy hoop thingies to, for handles. The dumb little shit got his head stuck in those. And what I heard was him flipping out when he stuck his head through it, you know, like as like a trap. He must have been freaking out and jumped off the table and was shaking his head around and all that kind of crap. At least the, the dumb little turd didn't freaking hang himself, but he sat there with that fucking bag on his head all night until she got up this morning. She said, I went downstairs and he was meowing, but he, like, it, there was something odd. Like, he didn't come over to me. And then when I found him, his head was stuck in the bag. So he sat there basically from two until, I don't know, six, seven o'clock this morning with that bag wrapped around his fucking head. So she took it off and she said, he as soon as I got it off, he immediately bolted and went in and started eating because he must have been hungry because he sat there for five hours with a freaking bag on his head. So not only that, he didn't eat the cookies, by the way, but his freak out knocked him onto the floor. And if you've ever been to our place, which none of you have, I don't clean shit. It takes forever for me to want to fucking clean anything. There is no five second rule in my house. If something touches the floor, it gets thrown away. I will not consider eating it. That's why I got cherry pie. And now you know the story. All right, I'm gonna show you this concoction that I make. I got one of these at Whole Foods. It's just a little mixer bottle. It's got this little wire shit in it so that it helps mix things up. First thing I do, is I usually have some kind of liquid base. This is Trader Joe's to the power of seven green organic juice beverage. It's got organic 
kale, spinach, green apple, celery, cucumber, and lemon juice with added ginger powder. That I pour in about eight ounces. Then I do this Garden of Life, and this is the raw organic meal plant-based vanilla flavor, and then you get yourself a big scoop of it. If there's one thing that they change all the time, it's their green shit. So this, I got the Amazing Grass, Amazing Trio, which is barley grass, wheat grass, and alfalfa. But today I bought the replacement, and this is what I usually get, and this is also Garden of Life, raw organic perfect food, green superfood juiced greens powder. But I'm not opening this up because I still got a bunch of this left. I just put a scoop in. The next thing is Bragg Organic Raw Unfiltered Apple Cider Vinegar. There's no method to this. I just pour in as much as I feel like. Instead of getting Barleen's, I got 365 brand organic flax oil filtered. And I scored a bunch in. So now you can see it's just this big mess. And then I usually go to the fridge and I pour as much water in as I feel like drinking. So that takes it up there. It's about two thirds full. And then I do my best to mix it up. And you can tell because there'll be shit like stuck on the side, the dry powder, it doesn't mix up. And then it's, it's kind of best to drink this quicker rather than slower, just because this stuff will start to congeal and get really thick and gross. And it's just not pleasant. All right, time for breakfast. Okay, kids, the monkey's dragging ass. Why you say? Because the monkey's dumb. And when he made his breakfast meal replacement shake, he didn't make his coffee. It's 1.51 and I haven't freaking had any coffee yet. So we are going to three ships to get bean. I don't know what else we're gonna do. Probably nothing because I'm dragging ass and I have a headache. And what the hell else is there to do? To the bean factory. Hi there. You two are so well behaved. You're just chilling, huh? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're a happy doggy. Oh, here's shit in your eye. And not only am I getting this, but I'm also getting another espresso drink because I seriously need the caffeine. I'm not kidding. I am so dragging ass. We're only going to hang out for a little bit, though, because then we got to go pick up those packages. Plus, I got her a drink, so I'll go take that to her. But for now, Okay, Queen's Bean, gotten. Then we're gonna head and pick up some packages, and then we're gonna play for a while, doing who knows what. Okay, before I drive away and go to another grocery store, I wanna take a minute to bitch and moan about three things. Well, two of them are bitches and moans, one of them's just a, oh. One, God, I freaking hate dust. Trying to keep dust off these freaking lenses and these filters, it's freaking impossible. I don't understand how people are shooting without having dust all over everything. I didn't even go upstairs. I did this sitting in the garage because I figured there's not as much dust up there. There's no carpeting. There's, you know, there's not much going on. The surface was clean. Holy shit. Just trying to freaking clean the dust off of, of a UV filter to put on this lens. I wiped it with a microfiber cloth, like, like an actual lens cloth, not even a microfiber cloth. And it was just, it just was basically like I was smearing dust onto the lens. So I got a Sony Zeiss lens wipe, like a wet wipe thingy that's made for getting that shit off there. All it did was make it like electrostatically stronger and it brought more dust on. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? It literally just took me a half an hour to clean off a UV filter to put on a lens. And then somehow I got like a smudge on the inside filter that, that's behind this freaking ND filter. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, how the hell does this happen? Okay, that's number one. Number two. Man, I'm so pissed off about number one, I can't even remember what number two was. Okay, I just got myself so spun up about number one, I even forget what the hell number two was. So forget it. Now, here we're gonna move on to the next thing. The next thing is, is that I just put a Viltrox lens on here, a 16 millimeter Viltrox lens. I'm shocked that the clear image zoom works on it. I thought that that shit only worked on, on like Sony native lenses. So I'm, I'm zoomed in as far as it'll go. So what, it's like 1.5. So it made this a, a 24 and I'll back it up. Oh, it's going slow. Okay, so here's 16 millimeters on the Viltrox lens. I'm at F2.8 and I've got the Polar Pro filter on it. This is with active stabilization. Let's turn that shit off and see how much more we get. 
Oh, so now this is with standard. Holy crap. It, it, it makes the interior of this look gigantic. And it's not. I need a Sequoia for that. <laughs> okay, enough of that shit. All right, we're going to go to the grocery store. Okay, just went into Harris Teeter to look around. Wow, timing is key. And the reason I like coming here is that a lot of times their shit's on sale. The issue is, is that you have to come at the right time because sometimes it's on a massive sale, like today. Pretty much everything I bought was buy one, get one free. Instead of just getting her a box of grits, I got four box of grits and I only paid for two of them. And then I got a couple of broccoli cheddar soups, buy one, get one. So yes, a very successful trip this time to Harris Teeter. The more I think about it, the more I like, what more can I show you today? It, you know, again, these videos aren't all that exciting. I just touched on the Viltrox lens and you know, just like I touched on the Polar Pro filters and all that stuff. I'm not doing proper gear reviews because I'm not getting paid to do proper gear reviews, but I will certainly give you my thoughts. And my thoughts so far on this lens, it's a keeper. I mean, you can't go wrong. For the, for the inexpensiveness of it and the, the build quality, I mean, it's weather sealed. Shit, can't complain with that. Some of my Sony lenses aren't even really weather sealed that great and they're massively more expensive. Okay, that's enough for today, and that's all you get. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe, and remember kids, forward and up.